here this morning to talk with Chris Waller about the Encosta de Lago Pretty Flamingo filly that we purchased at the recent Magic Million sales. Chris, can you let our clients know a little bit more about the filly? The first thing that came to my attention Adam, is her bloodlines. And I'm not a huge fan of bloodlines, but what I did notice with this horse is you've got she's out, well she's by Encosta de Lago, and sorry that I'm looking at the pedigree, but it's quite quite an astounding thing. Um, out of a more than ready mare, out of a Danehill mare, out of a Secretariat mare, out of a Northern Dancer mare. It's very hard to find champions like that in every every dam in the family. So that's obviously a, a great factor. Um, what I also liked about her, she's a very strong, compact, but is still going to mature as a later horse. Um, but the strength is certainly something that caught my eye. Chris, obviously we've got a couple of Encosta de Lagos in your yard at the moment and they've uh, really impressed us and excited us to date. That's why we were keen to, to buy another well-bred uh, Encosta de Lago filly. The Grand Dam Milanova, she was a $5 million man. The mother, Pretty Flamingo, she was a $625,000 yearling and now this filly's dynamic. Uh, we're excited to have her. And why not? She's a um, yeah, beautiful type. Um, ticked all the boxes with our uh, confirmation tests. And um, that more than ready will put a bit of speed into the Costa de Lago. There's no problems with the Costa de Lago, so they're going to train on as three and four year olds. But that more than ready blood should just throw a bit of speed in as a two year old as well. Well, beautiful. There you go, guys. Chris thinks that uh, that little bit of more than ready will throw that speed into it. But obviously, it's a it's a great sort of middle distance family as well, and we could really see her furnishing into a into a lovely mile to two thousand metre three year old as well. No, well, they're the ones to get at it. Um, everyone's concentrating on the speed, which you do need to be a, to, to race over any distance, but I think people miss the opportunity of running in the mile, 2,000 metre races, and for that reason, it's a very sheltered uh, group of horses making winning races, and winning group one races, just that little bit easier. Chris, thank you very much, and we look forward to having you in your stable. Thanks.